Stone Cold, please. For what? This only takes a second. What, what, what are you, what are you uh, doing? The tailor needs Stone Cold's measurements for the tuxedo he'll be wearing to Mr. Sir's nuptials. You don't have to worry. I'm not going. to avoid a catastrophe. The, the fashionista will be apoplectic if Stone Cold shows up leather clad to her nuptials because he didn't order the appropriate attire in a timely fashion. Huh. Fashion, you know, just a... Did, did you just, you hear what I said to you? I believe Stone Cold indicated he wouldn't be attending. Why? Wow, so you, you can hear me, which means you're choosing to ignore me. Bad habit, break it. I must have inadvertently picked that up from Maximista who regularly ignores the Jackal's sage advice and does exactly as she pleases. It is a rather effective method of getting one's way. In this case, her way. Of course. Maxie, I should have guessed. How was she involved? Well, she charged the Jackal with the task of getting you to attend the wedding, and I do not wish to fail her. And I do not wish to punch you. Find another way to impress your girlfriend. I'm going to work. Girlfriend. <laughs> Prepare for big changes from top to bottom. Because I'm not happy with the sloppy way this organization's been run since I've been distracted by... I'll call you back. Did you sneak past the guards, or do I need to call for body bags? You've got a shipment in the harbor on a freighter out of the Grand Keys. And from what I hear, it's supposed to dock at Pier 24. It's a violation of our truce, so move it or I'm going to blow it up. <laughs> you tempt me, Mr. Morgan. How I would love to eat that loss. It would finally give me a valid reason to retaliate, and we'd be off to the races. I'd get to sink my teeth into a good old-fashioned go-to-the-mattress war, take you to school on how we did it back in the day, put some fire on that ice that runs through your veins. You'd be put to the test. Your measure as a boss taken, and we'd see you'd be the last man standing. But therein lies the rub. I can't stand. So because I'm just a pathetic shell of my former self rolling around in a wheelchair, you get what you want. The status quo stands. None of my shipments touch Pier 24, including this one. Good. What's the big emergency? I didn't say there was an emergency. I said this was important. Okay, I'm listening. I want you to escort me to Sunny and Kate's wedding. I'm not going. You shouldn't either. I can't stay away. What, what good is going to come of you crashing Sunny's wedding? I wouldn't be crashing the wedding. I'm an invited guest. The good is it'll make me feel great, and Kate will be miserable. Okay. Best of both worlds. Do, do you remember promising me not to make any waves? I'm going to make that? waves. I'm not going to stand up and object or anything. Well, like I wouldn't put it past you. Ye of little faith. Do you really think you can sit there calm and quiet while Sonny marries somebody else? I don't know. Maybe not. In fact, now that I think about it, it's entirely possible that I could stand up and uh, do something unplanned. Make that probably. So, you know... It could help me a lot if you were there. Okay, so here here comes the blackmail. No. It's a best friend asking her best friend for some help and support. I would really like it if you could be there with me. I'll let you know. 